My reasons for declining the passwords were twofold. At the time, my immediate reaction was, I can't breach the confidence of those people who have trusted us with information or their cases that we, we're acting um, in. So that was my gut reaction. And I actually explained that to the police officers. I said, uh, if imagine I was a GP or a doctor um, and I had patients, uh, there's a patient doctor confidentiality there that you, everybody would understand you're not gonna breach. Imagine I was a lawyer and the work that we do in CAGE, a lot of it is legal work. Um, and I had clients. Everyone understands that you can't breach the client lawyer uh, confidentiality. So in the same way, um, you can't just ask me and I can't just give it to you. However, if you allow me to obtain consent, I'll happily um, consider that and, and, I'll, and I'll, ha I'll hand over my passwords. So that's my initial reason. That was my reason throughout, actually. And um, it's now been a few weeks and obviously I'm about to be charged um, for this offence. Now I've, I've reflected on the matter and I, and I really, really think that I shouldn't even be asked to hand over my password to begin with. Um, if I was being accused of a crime or if there were formal charges made against me, or let's say there's an investigation that's taking place and in the course of that investigation there's information that is required or whatever, it, it's, it makes sense, it's sensible. Here, I've not been accused of anything. I mean, under Schedule 7, you don't even have to be suspected of a crime. So that's my, my situation. And in fact, that's the situation of everybody, anybody that stopped under Schedule 7. There's no suspicion required. You can just be detained. Your rights can be taken away from you, even though you're not suspected of a crime. So at, at the level of principle, I've now also, um, I feel very strongly that um, the requirement or the demand for me to disclose passwords shouldn't even be made. I don't think it's correct. And I think the law is um, is not correct. And, and, and I think there's a, there's a real um, um, a need to, to actually review um, the, the, the level of intrusion that the or the extent of the powers that are now granted to the state to intrude on the lives of private citizens. Here what we're talking about is perfectly law-abiding citizens. They're not even suspected of crime.